Hey guys, Konnichiwa. Today, let me introduce a Japanese ethnic dress called kimono. Some of you already know kimono or wafuku. Well, they are the same. Kimono is wafuku. But what is kimono? Let's talk about it today. Maybe this image of a Japanese woman is very n o w Beautiful, isn't it? In Kyoto, you can see them everywhere. Our everyday wear is Western clothes now. But we used to wear kimono as everyday wear a long time ago, like in Heian era. So why don't we wear kimono now? Well, we don't think they are cool anymore. Just kidding, of course we still think they are super cool. First of all, they are not easy to put on. They are much layer and it takes more than one hour to put on. Not easy, not fast. In fact, most of us don't know how to wear one now. Only some experts know that. Also, cost. Kimono is not cheap. Some formal kimono can cost more than 1 million yen. It is as expensive as a car. I'd prefer a car. Those are the main reasons why we don't wear anymore. But don't worry, you can wear other types of kimono. Here are some of them. A single layer kimono called yukata is worn at the Japanese style hotel Ryokan. They are easy to put on and affordable. Some yukata are used as a sleepwear. Furisode is worn by women. Their sleeves are longer than yukata, and its pattern is more gorgeous. In the year they turn 20, they wear furisode to celebrate. Jinbei is also popular. Their sleeves are short and made with some linen, so we wear them in the summer, especially when going to firework festivals. When you come to Japan, you should check them out. There are many more things about kimono. If you get interested in them, I will be happy about that. Leave a comment if you want to know other things about Japan, and I will make y o u t u b e for that. If you enjoyed this video, please push like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching it.